I have a friend who is really good at putting puzzles together. Now I could imagine that the process is quite straightforward. I guess there may be different strategies and different approaches, maybe grouping the colours together, and then maybe beginning with the foundation and then getting a hold of the big picture. And then begins the hard work. Maybe not easy, but in some ways straightforward with the goal of putting it all together. This is like a picture of what leadership looks like in normal times, life in the good times, when things are straightforward. We have a picture of what we want to see, a vision, and we can get goals and see it all achieved. We have some idea what tomorrow looks like and the days and the weeks ahead. The challenge for us at the moment is that we are in a crisis, in uncertain circumstances, and in these times, everything changes. It is like the picture that was in front of us is taken away. We no longer have the big picture in front of us, nothing to follow. As we have never been this way before. The challenge is not seeing the obvious way forward, is superseded by our need to walk by faith into a future we cannot see. We must, we must put our faith in God. We walk by faith and not by sight. Faith is the assurance or confirmation of the things we hope for, being the evidence and proof of things we do not see and the conviction of their reality. We know that there is a way forward, even if we cannot see it. God has not left us in this crisis. We know that because his word says, I will not leave you or forsake you. He will never leave you or forsake you. Faith is moving forward, knowing that God will get you where you need to go. I heard Cindy Trim say, faith is like a seeing eye dog to a blind man. Faith helps you to believe for the impossible. In uncertain times, nothing looks the same. Everything looks different. Everything changes. It is like someone takes away the picture that is in front of us in normal times. So the process changes from seeing a clear picture in front of you to moving forward blindly in the natural to now moving totally by faith. We must move forward. We must take action. Take action steps. We need cognitive flexibility. It may be a longer process. We may even make mistakes on the way, but movement is still the key because as we take steps forward, the picture will begin to form. For instance, back to the puzzle. If there are a lot of green pieces and a lot of blue, we would assume that the green is grass and we begin to piece together these to form the foundation. The smaller details in the middle of the picture may not be obvious or clear, but you know that you have blue, which is blue skies. We must believe there are blue skies above, blue skies ahead. You then begin to put these pieces together put together the green grass foundation and the blue skies of hope and confidence, confidence within you begins to arise that you can put this picture together. It is going to be tricky, not all straightforward, but if you move forward and have the humility to make mistakes along the way, you will make progress. If you sit back and do nothing, then nothing will happen. We must starve our fears and feed our faith and take action. Now is the time to redefine, reshape. Don't try to put the puzzle together with preconceived ideas of what it should look like. Some things will have to change to fit into the picture. Have the mind of Christ, the innovator. This is the time to think outside the box. And for some of us, let's face it, the box has been shattered and no longer even exists. Change is here. We often say that God cannot steer a parked car. You may not know where you are going 
or what the future you are driving into looks like, but if you are willing to get up, sit in the driver's seat and turn on the ignition, God will guide you. While moving forward, you must put people first. We see it while driving a car. If we drive recklessly, someone will get hurt. We move forward, but we do it cautiously and we don't hurt people along the journey. We may get frustrated at the pace we are traveling, but we must put people first. People must know that we care about them as our priority. We may justify our actions for driving recklessly, but if they do not feel safe and don't feel like we care about them, they will want to get out of that vehicle and in our attempt to move ourselves forward at a quicker pace, we may end up traveling alone. This is a faith walk. With crisis, uncertainty, changes of circumstances, you may be leading in the dark, but your values and your love for people should not change. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Believe that he is guiding you, showing you how to put the pieces together. Have courage. Be strong. Be courageous. Step out in love for what you believe is right. Putting people first, not yourself. You will get there. The picture will become clearer. The future is bright. Dare to dream again. The puzzle will come together. Thanks for listening. This is Rosanna Palmer.